Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, it is summertime. It's very hot, very hot. Actually, right now in uh, where I'm living or in this place for people who know Al Sakama, right now it is uh, 43 degrees. That is how hot it is. But I decided to make this video and just try to try to note out a few things or a few things that we should share together. Remember, something I need also to let you know, I'm not feeling fine, I'm a little bit sick. That is by the doctor, doctor advice, I need to, to take off for some 10 days. But still, it doesn't have to stop me to give you and let you know what are the latest developments. One, I got a question from the comment section and one was saying that um, I was not given a contract by my company when I was recruited here. My company abandoned me. And right now, I'm in what you call an overstay of seven months. Something that, uh, seven months, what can I do? Something that I need to let you know for guys that are on an overstay. And you're so lucky that you are still living in the country or you are still here on what you call your overstay. It may be three months, it may be two months, it may be eight months. Remember, every one of us has his or on her luck in one way or the other. Some of you must be on overstay but still in the country and you're still moving on or doing what you call your part-time job in any way or in any way to do in one way or the other. So that is that is for your uh, the advantage and that is for, for your God, your God that is with you at this time. But remember when we are talking about overstay, in Qatar. Remember, when you talk about overstay, remember, for overstay in Qatar, you can be arrested and even jailed, and even fined, be fined to pay around 50,000 Qatar real for overstay. I think most of you, you are aware of that. So, know that if you once you got and it's a bad day for you, you can be arrested and fined over 50,000 Qatar real for that. Remember, for an overstay in Katapa each day is paid an amount of 200 Katarian. An overstay that is being calculated for you is paid at 200 Katarian every single day. So what are we talking about or what's something that I need to let you know or what do I definitely you need to know is that how can you reduce your overstay? The only way or the only position or the only resolution you have for you to reduce your overstay is by getting what you call a job. Don't look for a permanent girl job. Get a full-time job. Get some company, hire you, give you a contract, sign up a contract, get you a cut ID. That is the only way, that is the only solution you have to reduce the overstay in Qatar. I think I've tried to explain to you my brother who put a comment in the comment section about the overstay. The only solution perhaps I know right now to reduce your overstay fine or to reduce your overstay in Qatar is you getting a job, you getting someone who is going to give you a job, sign up a contract and that person is going to be your, your, your visa sponsor, then you can try to reduce the overstay. Thank you so much. Hope I've tried to share up. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. And thank you for supporting this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing supporting this channel and by the way don't forget to click the notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever i upload a new video thank you so much see you again in the next video